So I received my bell tent. So now I just have to go into my yard and kind of figure out where um, I want to put it. Um, my yard is pretty big. It's on two acres. I think that I want to put the tent up right there in that area, right next to, right there. Because then I'd be able to get a really nice picture with the fire pit if I wanted to um, and use, use all of that. I just don't see another spot that I want it in. Plan is to um, put my tent up over there on the other side of the fire pit. I'm going to completely outfit it and then that way I can see exactly what it looks like, get my promo pictures and everything for my website. Then I'm gonna take everything down, pack it up, and I'm going to go and set up at a girlfriend's house and I wanna be able to see how long it takes me actually to set up um, by myself. Hopefully, where we're booking these out, my husband can go and set up somewhere and I can set up somewhere else. So it's gonna be important that I make sure that the items that I choose and put in there are things that are easily transportable. Um, so I just have to work on the logistics of it and it'll be easier since I have the room to do it in my own backyard. I'm gonna go back, cut the grass in that area, spray for the mosquitoes, that kind of stuff. I wish I could cut the grass this fast. Um, this actually took me about an hour and a half, but there the area is all clear. I had to use the walking lawnmower because the riding lawnmower wasn't working. Now I am going to move all of the furniture out of the way. Um, I had to move it up and back while I was cutting around it. I don't know why I didn't move it the first time. And here we are going to lay out the tarp. I already had this tarp. I was covering my travel trailer with it and I sold the travel trailer. This tarp is a 20 by 40 and the bell tent has a 16 foot diameter. So it'd be more than enough room um, to install it on top of. And I'm just trying to figure out exactly where I want it at and you know, get it all placed and everything. One thing that I can tell you about this is that once I installed it, I know that when they sell the ground covers, they sell them to the size that fits the tent exactly. exactly. By leaving mine square, when it did rain, there was water sitting on top of the tarp where I should have cut the um, ground cover to fit the tent. So I will have to go back and cut that. Now I am moving this um, 80 pound tent into place and I'm still messing around and zhuzhing my tarp. And here we go. And let's get this baby opened up and pulled out or stretched out. I guess that's the right word. As you can see, it's really easy. It was folded up nicely. So all I had to do is just pay attention to the fold and, you know, go all the way around it and just keep pulling until I saw that it was flat. But then when I got ready to install it, I'll get to that and tell you one of the hack videos that I saw that I chose to follow with the actual staking down. Here I'm just looking at the inside of it. I wanted to see that top part where the um, center pole rests. So I want to tell you how I'm gonna, oops, camera's over here. So I want to tell you how I'm gonna do the install. Um, one of the videos that I saw that I really like was a guy showed you how to get the tightest floor with no ripples. So the instructions from Stout say to start at the door and stake it down with the smaller stakes and then work your way all the way around. That hack video that I saw said to start at the door and then from the door go and do an X pattern. So it says to do the door first, then do the peg next to, skip the peg next to the door, go to the peg behind the, that first one that's on the other side of a window, stake it down on both sides, then go to the back wherever there's a second window and stake it down. And so in effect, it's telling you to do the door, skip one, do the next one, skip one. Oops, my camera's moving. The door, skip one, 
the next one, skip one, and then the back on the other side of the windows, creating an X pattern. And that X pattern is supposed to stretch your floor out so you don't have any ripples in it. So we'll see how that works. Um, if I don't like it, I'll just pull the stakes up and start all over again. Okay, let's start staking. My first stake is going on the side of the door. Then I'm doing the second stake on the other side of the door. I'm zipping it up because I forgot that I left it unzipped. Now, once I've done that, I'm skipping over that window and going to the next spot right behind that window. Then I'll go to the other side and do the staking in the exact same spot. Then I'm going back to the first side, going behind the second window and adding a stake. And then going around to the other side, passing that second window and adding a stake. And now I'm doing my hand gestures like I'm a flight attendant trying to tell you where I'm putting the stakes. Now I'm going back and filling in all the other stakes. And I am using the small stakes for this. Um, they came with two sets. The larger, the small stakes are smooth and the larger stakes have a ridge around them. The larger stakes I'll use later for the guidelines. Now that the ground cover or the floor of the tent is staked down, we're going to install the center pole. This is where the magic happens. This pole has a, a ring on it. It faces up when you install it. I'm flipping it over to show you that you do not install that ring downward. It has to go up because that is where you would clip a light or something like that inside of the tent. And Broadway dance moment. Let's go inside. Okay guys, it is 90 degrees out here and inside of that tent, it was 100 degrees. But I was able to get it up by myself. Um, it really wasn't too much of a problem, but I can tell you that that canvas um, for that tent is heavy. It's not light at all. Whew, I got it done. So, the next thing that we're gonna do is go inside and install that A-frame over the door to hold it open. Okay, so before I do any more staking, who I'm out of breath. Getting that pole up was easy, but not easy, but easy. Oh my goodness, but I want to show you the inside before I put anything else up. Okay. So, number one, the X pattern of doing the floor did make my floor tight. As you can see, I don't have any big ripples in it and there's a circle down there. I was worried about getting this thing up straight, but there's a circle that tells you exactly where it goes right there. If you can see that circle. So my black piece is right in the middle of that. At the top of the pole, you almost have to get it in the right spot or you could, you could tell, I guess. But I am so surprised. I'm so happy and um, proud of myself. I was determined not to go all the way to the house to get help because it says that one person can do it. So I did it, one person can do it. Okay, so I decided to take you in with me so that you can see this rain cap, I mean this A-frame for the door go on. Oops, I think I should have took the whole tripod because I can't hold the camera and put the A-frame on. So let's do this. And as you notice, I keep taking my shoes off. Um, I don't have to, but I don't want to walk the dirt in. And yep, I got on Mitch Match socks. Who cares? I stopped recording by mistake. Okay, so the A-frame, the top of the A, goes in and that hole right there is where the spike part on the top of the a-frame is going to go you should be able to see that then the feet of the a-frame which is where the little black part is once it's standing up they end up all the way there's one over here on this side and then there's one on the other side so, let's get at it i can't wait to see this part happen Poles have that piece in it that you know other little shelters and stuff have where it's the pole with the bungee thing in it so it can only go one way so now I'm going to get this circle piece in here 
Then I'm gonna stand it up and push my feet, my legs back this way on both sides. Now that it's up, I'm gonna find my pocket, which is right there, okay? And my other pocket is over here. So I'm gonna push up, get it, feed it in there. Nice. Well, that was easier than I thought. A-frame is installed the door opening is up so follow me over to install part two and let's finish this up thanks for watching officially Fran